Hi everybody, hi, good morning. How are you all doing in these, well, crazy weird times? Um, so I thought I would do a quick rundown today of um, the top 10 foods that I reckon you should be eating to feel really good at the moment and not um, succumb to too much anxiety and you know try, try and avoid too many trips to the supermarket obviously <clears throat> now because we're on essentially we're on lockdown aren't we so we need to really be limiting our trips outside so what can we be eating you know which foods last the longest which foods keep while at the same time giving us a lot of nutrient value okay so we'll go straight in then so the first one i recommend is porridge oats porridge oats are um so versatile they've got lots of protein in them they've got lots of fiber they're great for gut health for heart health and there's loads of really nice recipes that you can use online you know for over overnight oats brilliant i love overnight oats and we're coming into the summer now so it's a nice summer dish to be able to make you essentially you're putting the oats with seeds and fruits the night before putting it in the fridge and you've got this amazing, lovely, creamy breakfast the next day. So that's a really good one. I would definitely go for oats, certainly over pasta. Everyone's buying pasta, but if you eat too much pasta, you're just not going to feel fabulous. I wouldn't bother with that. Um, it's just not, it's got no, white pasta's got barely any nutrient value in it. And it will just send you on this blood sugar spiral. Your blood sugar will go sky high and then plunge again after a couple of hours, which is not what we want because that's going to make you feel really jittery and anxious and horrible. So, yeah, forget the pasta. Porridge oats, I definitely do. Number two, I would do definitely nuts and seeds. You can buy big bags of those. They keep for a long, long time. Mix them up with your porridge oats. You've got a nice overnight oats recipe there chia seeds fantastic they've got omega-3s in them lots of protein and will definitely keep you going for a long long time if you have those for breakfast um, ditto nut butter is brilliant so you can either make your own or it's easier just to buy a jar of nut butter and mix the you know you can use that for a snack with various things uh, again, lots of nice nutrients in there, lots of protein, keep you full up and going for a long, long time. Okay, my next favourite one is, so number three, red lentils. If you've got a box, uh, a bag rather, of red lentils, use them for so many things. So add them to soups and to stews, curries, chilies. They're absolutely brilliant, particularly if you're vegetarian, they're going to give you a lovely... A vegetarian plant-based source of protein so yeah definitely um, one worth not stockpiling but getting a few in to keep you going fabulous so number four also tinned beans um, all sorts of different tinned beans you can get chickpeas green lentils uh, black eye beans things like that and you can make tons and tons of things with um, those as well use them again for curries and stews and almost anything else you feel like making um next one number five is frozen fruit and veg if you can get hold of it at the moment it is running out quite rapidly i think a lot of the time but definitely um if you can get hold of it it's not substandard by any stretch of the imagination people think it's inferior to fresh it's actually not because it's frozen so quickly after it's picked so you've got all the berries there, lots of fruit you could use. Um, you could use them for overnight oats, of course. And then you've got all the veg, you know, spinach, frozen spinach is great. Frozen peas are particularly good. They often have more nutrients in them than um, the fresh ones. So all good there, lots of vitamins, lots of minerals. Um, so they're definitely worth stop, stocking up on if you can get them. Um, uh, next one, onions. Also, onions work buy a bag of onions will last forever. So if you've got onions and your lentils, you're away there, that gives you lots of light, nice nutrients. They're great for your immunity and they will um, also, you know, they keep for a long, long time. So that's another good one. Next one, tins of tomatoes. If you've got tins of tomatoes, 
you've got your onions, you've got some lentils or whatever else you like to cook with. Um, <clears throat> that's, that's the basis there of pretty much, you know, every bolognese, curry, uh, chili, anything else you can think of. So they're definitely worth getting hold of. And lots of studies have proven that the tinned tomatoes and tomato puree and mushed up kinds of tomatoes are they seem to have a lot more nutrient i suppose you can just absorb them a lot better than you can do the fresh so yeah they're definitely worth getting hold of and um very versatile again so the next one instead of all this pasta maybe try experimenting with alternative grains like quinoa because they're so um rich in protein they're really good for your gut they're very easy to digest so if you've got a gut problem going on then um, the quinoa is going to be much kinder to your gut and also keep your energy levels sustained they're also great for you can cook cook quinoa cool it down and then you've got a nice basis for a salad there um, my next favorite one is definitely tins of fish so tins of fish are really great packed with protein they keep forever they will keep you going for a long long time full of omega-3 fats so omega-3 fats are just great for your brain for your mood for your uh, energy levels everything so definitely get some of those on board as well and then the last one i'd recommend is oat cakes i love oat cakes i constantly munch on them they're so convenient and um if you say if you're really busy say if you're someone who's rushed off their feet at the moment lots of people are people who work in shops nurses etc are really really busy um so if you had five minutes to take a break i would definitely get some oat cakes and something like some nut butter almond butter is really really healthy for you really really good and um use that for, have a couple of oat cakes with some almond butter on will keep you going for a really long time and um, keep those energy levels high, keep your mood high. Um, I will really, really help you there. Okay, so that's all. That's 10 foods I would definitely rec recommend keep getting hold of. Um, they'll keep for a long, long time. They will help to keep you in really good health through all this, keep your immunity high, keep your mood high. Um, so I hope you find that helpful. But if you do want to speak to me, I shall pop a link into my diary in the comments. So feel free to do that and I shall see you next time. Okay, bye-bye.